Hello everyone, this is Jopke again and I'm here with a small video again for you of me making an index card. Uh, starting off with adding a layer of gesso to the card and that is the gesso from Action I use often uh, from Van Blijswijk. And then I decided on using this beautiful color red, the spicy tomato of the silks paints. Now I have uh, two or three colors of these silks uh, in my stash and I n almost never use it. Um, so on this occasion I thought I would and I picked out the red because I found it a very beautiful color and I decided to paint the background. At that point I didn't know it was water soluble. I realized that when I put on this scribble of white acrylic paint and it started to take on the red. You can slowly see it happen and at this point it was almost completely gone, the white. So I decided to try and save this card uh, to seal it and I did that with the art medium from Schoening. I thought that would do the trick, it would be sealed, but it kind of wasn't. It did help, helped a bit, but it wasn't completely um, sealed. So once I put on these pieces of paper, uh, these are some music sheets uh, paper, uh, I was careful, but I uh, started to notice that it, the red still came off of the card. And you see it happen right here because um, it is on my brush and the white of the music sheet was kind of recoloring into the red. So uh, I decided at this point that I uh, should not continue with the art medium and with all the wet stuff, but using my glue stick to glue down some pieces of paper. And that is some paper from a magazine that is mostly the black with the, the white text on it that came from a magazine. And I had some uh, bits and pieces of music sheet paper that I also glued down onto the page, uh, trying to find a nice design um, to uh, create as a background. And once that is dry and the the, the what is left is trimmed off. I'm going in with the white acrylic paint and you can still see that the red of the silks is reacting. I am adding some circles with the acrylic paint. I'm using a, a funnel uh, for that and um, once I put it on it is crispy white but if you leave it for a little bit you see and start to notice that the white is slowly recolor, recolor into a bit of orangey like. So it's taking on the red, but not as much as it did in the beginning. So I was fairly happy with this. Uh, also using, uh, this is the half of a bottle that I, I cut down and it had a very nice a circle shape uh, on the top as well and I'm going in with the black acrylic paint to create some more circle shapes uh, onto the card. Um, I believe this was a bottle, oh, I guess there was paint in it at one time, I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, so did the circling, um, the circles and now I'm gluing down a few um, uh, items. Uh, this is a Lindy Stamp Gang uh, spray paint uh, to just um, get uh, rid of the very crispy white and uh, make it a bit more creamy beige uh, like. And then I'm gluing down some um, some pieces. This is uh, an image of an, an, a number plate, a car plate. And this is a bird I made quite a while ago with a crackling paint and I had it lying in my stash forever and well I thought it could look nice on this card so uh, I had print out uh, the word carefree um, I'm using the Faber Castell artist pit pen to color the edges and also using uh, a double-sided tape a, a, a bit thick double-sided tape 
to create some dimension with this word and it's a bit um, 3D-ish uh, kind of on the card. Um, then I used the Stazon Yet Black ink pad for inking the edges of the card and I'm adding the date and also my signature and that will be it for this card and it's ready to go in my index uh, book um, which is in fact an old agenda of 2016. So hope you've enjoyed watching this video. Um, uh, remember, those silks are water soluble. I have to remember that myself. I'm, I, I probably will mark the bottle so I know for next time. Um, well, that's it for me and have a great day and see you again very soon. Bye bye.